Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Today's scenario was done on the stream, so you're gonna have this as a sort of clip from the stream, and you might sometimes hear me interact with the uh, rest of the chat. Now, it's a scenario where I have escaped with a Japanese super battleship, and there are a couple of American battleships which are chasing me down. Now, it's, uh, it's interesting. I thought 18-inch guns, or 17-inch guns rather, were very effective at long range. Turns out, maybe not so much, but you'll just have to see in this scenario. Enjoy. Scenario by Finley Zap. After the surrender of Japan and the deaths of thousands of people, a young Japanese admiral, you, seek revenge. You and some other rebels take control of the just-finished Japanese super battleship, a light cruiser and a destroyer, to take revenge for your friends and families. Due to the unexpected action, the Americans can send two older battleships accompanied by one heavy cruiser. Now, both nations are going to start in 1940, which means that the whole older thing is not quite happening. For all I know, I could be showing up against two American super battleships myself. Now, it's going to be a uh, super battleship by the Japanese. I'm going to try and build something in the same fashion that the German battleship did in one of my recent videos, which was a battleship that had four triple turrets on the bow. I want to see if I can make that work. So I'm first going to go with uh, big guns. Let's say, well, 18s. 18s might be a bit too big, but let's see if I can make that work. So put that one on the edge, then have a uh, huge and large superimposed bar, but no, we need one of those. And then another, and then, no, aw, that doesn't fit. That's unfortunate. How did they do it then? How did they do it? Because that German battleship had a very interesting design. Maybe the German battleships have different slots for their turrets. Maybe that is it. I don't know. Right, so I can't quite build that. What happens if I let the AI build it? What are they going to come up with? What sort of a ship do you have in mind? You're going for dual 17-inch guns. Okay. It's not a bad ship, actually. I would change group 3 to 4, if I could choose. I would definitely not go with fuel bulkheads. Uh, long range is not terribly important here. Let's put that to none. I'm trying to get to 125,000 tons. Anti torpedo 5 is really high. Reinforced bulkheads only one. Okay, light shells. <laughs> All right, we're going with light shells. Uh, did I add any torpedo launchers? No. Okay, what sort of armor did you put on this thing? 18 inches of belt armor. Okay, that's interesting. That's really interesting. I might be able to make that work, actually. If I go 27 and a half knots at top speed, I can add all of that armor. 24.6 inches of turret armor. And only a 0.5 weight offset on the stern. That's actually quite good. Unfortunately, I don't think I can put this thing on a barbette. No, so you can put a medium superimposed barbette here, by the looks of it. But not one of these. Not a tall, not a very tall, not an enlarged, not a superimposed, no. Interesting design. All right. As opposed to me normally designing my own ship, I'm going to go with this and see how this ship's going to perform. 
All right, the objective for this scenario is to sink all enemy ships, and I lose when my battleship's destroyed. So it's going to be a matter of keeping my battleship alive, but I don't think that that's going to be particularly hard to do. Oh, no. The enemy did not build any big ships. They're spotted to the north. Now, fair enough, the Americans are bringing older ships. But, or no, I'll, yeah, what was it? They're bringing two older ships. Due to the unexpected action, the Americans can send two older battleships accompanied by one heavy cruiser. Yeah, but... I'm not sure if these poor sods are going to have much of a chance. The Mutsu, my ship, is already firing at a range of 29.4. Let's say they're about that way. I need to turn starboard. Because I'm currently only using the two forward batteries, I think. Not even, actually. The B turret's not firing. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. March starboard, slow down. Light cruiser, Kitakami. Only one torpedo set and further 5 inch guns. Mostly an anti DD weapon, this one. And the DD itself, the Natsuzuki. Lots of torpedoes. They're only 20, well, only the 22 inch, 62.5 knots, at a range of 10 kilometers out. Good luck with that. Now, there is a trick that I wanted to try for a while. If I link this ship up with the battleship, supposedly, if you then hit battle, or if you then hit smokescreen, yep, it works. <laughs> this is a bit of an exploit, as far as I'm concerned. This, bu this button over here, set a smokescreen, is only available to DDs and light cruisers. But, it applies to the whole group. So now the Mutsu is setting her own smokescreen. Because she is part of the destroyer group. Or, well... Yeah, I think that the Natsuzuki is now considered the leader of the group. So now I have a battleship that's laying a smokescreen. I wondered if I, this was going to work. I mean, I've had it rumored, but I just wanted to see if it works. And it does. So this is something else that the devs probably need to fix. Because this is a bit... A bit unorthodox, shall we say. The fact that I'm able to get away with this. I don't mind. I think it's 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 pretty funny that you can do that. But they need to get that fixed. On the other hand, you could argue that battleships should be able to lay a smokescreen. I mean, why not? Sure. Gameplay-wise, you could argue that it should be the domain of destroyers and lighter cruisers. But, arguably, laying a smokescreen, I think, technically, is not that hard. It's not that difficult. Now, why am I not hitting this ship? What sort of a rangefinder did you put on here? Stereoscopic 5 and radar Generation 2 radar. Okay, now we're getting some better accuracy at about 7%. I have been hit three times for a total of 78 damage. That's because a 16-inch shell penetrated. And that... Wow. That didn't penetrate. That was a 17-inch shell. It didn't penetrate the armor? Okay. That's an interesting thing to learn. Because that might mean that the battleship has a lot of armor on her. A lot of belt armor. Are you the heavy cruiser? You're definitely the heavy cruiser. And with big guns, too. Now I can fire out to a range of, what was it, 10? 10 1. If this mm, escorting heavy cruiser has some sort of hydro, uh, at this point they all do, or they can all have, it's going to be pretty difficult to land torpedoes on that ship. Get the Kami, I want you to torpedo the heavy cruiser. With your um, 48.5 knots. Torpedoes at the range of 15. Don't stick around too long like this. 
torpedoes. Away. Alright, fall back. Because you don't really have any kind of effective way of engaging that heavy cruiser outside of deploying your torpedoes. Oh, my uh, my super heavy battleship is actually taking a bit of damage now. Mutsu has been hit five times for 187 damage. But then again, I'm giving them a lot of opportunity because I'm opening up my broadside too much. And have I done any damage in return? Not really. Not really. Maintain fire against the battle battleship because I think the Mutsu picked the heavy cruiser as its prime target now. It's not really the plan. Is this penetrating on the belt or the deck? Deck. That's the problem. It's flying right through my deck armor and that's particularly hard to defend against. So angling doesn't even matter. Because it's coming in vertical anyway. Although if I slant myself that way, it might do a bit more, well, angling. It might bounce off a bit more. Not Suzuki. Range 10-9. Unfortunately, I don't yet have a good identification on that heavy cruiser, so I couldn't tell you what sort of defenses it has against torpedoes. Range? Hello? Here. 9.9. .9. You know we're just going to send out all the torpedoes from the Natsuzuki. That's the entire spread. Off you go. Light cruiser. I want you to fall back behind the battleship and I want you to find ba fall back behind the uh, light cruiser. This way I'm going to try and not have those ships lag behind too far. So far, I've still not done a lot of damage, but I've taken a lot of damage. Because I'm probably just a really big ship. Versus, well, comparatively smaller ships. This is probably something in the range of 50,000 tons or something. 50, 60,000 tons, at best. Look at that, it's all bouncing off. That's 17 inch shells with TNT propellant. So it's pretty potent stuff. But it's not really making a dent in this battleship. The uh, supposed light cruiser slash heavy cruiser has detected the torpedoes. I think that those are the torpedoes from the DD over here. Charleston. Charleston Sonar 3. Range on the secondary, 6 inch. In range, effectively. Open up aggressively on the secondaries if you can. Target, Charleston. So far, the six inch aren't firing yet. They're all, yeah, they're all there. They should be able to fire, but maybe their accuracy is just not there yet. Now, it looks like I'm finally doing some damage against the battleship. Range has been reduced to 21 kilometers. And the closer I get, the better the accuracy and the better the damage. Identification is now complete. We are fighting Texas and Nebraska. Texas is 60,000 tons. With 13.6 inches of belt armor. Plus 110, so let's say it's about 27 inches of armor. And at this range of 20 clicks, I can penetrate 18 inches of belt armor. So, yeah, I can't pen her. She just has too much armor. I might be able to get partial penetrations, but not full. Texas, what can you tell me? Oh shit, there goes my destroyer. Hold on a minute. 8 inch from the battleship. At that range? Whoa, that's impressive. That came in from the battleship? Okay. Consider me impressed. That's 16.9 clicks out. This thing can fire out to 16.5. From the light cruiser to here is 3. 
to there is 16. So, okay, yeah, he was in range. 13 clicks out. He got lucky once, and once was enough. There goes my destroyer. Now, I'm still waiting for the secondaries to actually open up. Yeah, because they hadn't selected the right target. And that might have something to do with it. Big salvo against the battleship. And all the 6-inch, that's... All of that. <laughs> all opening up. This is not something that you want to encounter if you're a destroyer. Firing every 7.8 seconds with 283 damage out to a range of almost 13. Switch to HE and burn them down. Yeah, I could do that. That's probably not a bad idea. Just to fling a bunch of HE shells at him. Kitakami has reloaded her torpedoes. The thing is... This battle... No, not battle cruiser. This cruiser will see those coming. For, well, quite a while. Normal torpedo tube. Launch. Smoke up. In case that cruiser gets some nasty ideas about engaging this light. Come on, torpedo launcher. There you go. Alright, Katakami. Full back. Mutsu is down to 80%. They have done 3.4 thousand damage versus my 526. Their accuracy is really quite impressive. It is as good as mine. They have 8 guns per ship for a total of 16. Whereas I have 12 guns, 12 barrels. Range 18.6. I want to close in more. Damage to the torpedo tube on the Charleston. The Charleston, by the way, did launch torpedoes against the Mutsu. Torpedo visibility plus 20%. They are 23 inch torpedoes. I have sonar 2. So I'll get a bit of warning. But maybe not enough. When did you launch those, Charleston? There. Good thing I told the Mutsu to start turning. It's pronounced Moso? Or Musu? You mean you don't pronounce the T? Winters? I'm not sure if I can squeeze through here, if I can get the ship to turn in time, because now I need the rudder right amidships. I can probably glide through that gap. anti torpedo protection, five. So even if it hits, which I think it will, it probably wouldn't do too much damage. There, 87 damage. A bit of flooding, but on a 125,000 ton ship, I don't really find that too threatening. Let's see if I can blow this uh, heavy cruiser to bits. Chance to pen, 100%. Chance to hit, less than 1%. But it is going up as we're studying the target. Oh crap, there's more. Back to point 0.9. How many torpedo tubes do you have? What can you threaten me with? One port, one starboard. Gotcha. Range to the heavy cruiser. 8.3 Huh What's going on here? Why are you not getting hit? Janord, thank you for subscribing You can send in your scenario by typing exclamation arc scenario and it's gonna bring you to the website and there you can send in your scenario Finally, 6.1% chance to hit. I need this heavy cruiser out of my way. Because it's going to keep lobbing torpedoes at me. I really don't want that to happen. Because that's the hardest thing to avoid. 
At shorter range, I think that I can tank the damage from the Texas and the Nebraska. But if it's going to be torpedoes... Not really. Although the buoyancy is completely unaffected. Buoyancy at 100%. The fact that I'm struggling against these two outdated battleships, though, is quite sad. Light cruiser, you can now fall in behind the battleship. I don't really need the light cruiser, I feel. I don't think she's going to add too much. That's why I'm keeping her so far back. I do know that she exists. I didn't forget about her. But it's just that 5-inch gun cruiser with some torpedoes is not really what I'm going to need to sink those ships. Range is close to 13.2. And at about 12.5, I can penetrate 29 inches of armor. So that should go right through the belt. My secondaries really aren't doing much. The T adds emphasis to the S. Ah, okay, so SU is pronounced as SO, while TSU is pronounced as SO. Okay. So this would be MUSU? Is that how you pronounce it? Instead of MUTSU? MUSU? I always think names are important, so I'm trying to get them right. Let's see if we can uh, knock Texas out with the mains and then the secondaries, those six inch against the already torpedoing Charleston. Texas, report. You have taken some damage, but it's not terrible. Is this AP? Yep, flooding on the stern of the Texas. Maximum bulkheads, anti flooding three. She's going to be fine. Musu. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Seventy-four percent chance to pen. Thirty-two percent chance to hit. And about fifty-fifty percent chance to get hit by torpedoes from the Charleston. And there's not that much that I can do to get this hundred twenty-five thousand tons to maneuver quickly enough to get out of range. Ah, there you go. Now Texas is really starting to hurt. Whereas now she cannot really do much. Because I am very much angled against the Texas. Her ricochet chance is very low. Or at least the chance that I ricochet on her. The chance that she ricochets my shells is low. The chance that when she fires, they pen on the Mutsu. Sorry, the Musu is really, really bad. Because I have, effectively, about 38 inches of belt armor. And while those 16-inch guns are dangerous, they are not that dangerous. If I close to 7.5 kilometers, yes. Then they will start to pen about 37 inches of armor. So I'm just going to have to slow down. I am pretty much where I want to be. I can pen them. They cannot pen me. And I'm taking the Texas apart one shot at a time. Or, well, more like four shots at a time. If it hits. Come on, Texas, why don't you pop a turret? Because you didn't get hit. Yeah, that's a fair argument. Charleston is still out here. She has been shot at 1,300 times. And really not hit. Yeah, I'm going to eat one torpedo. Again. Fire and flooding on the Texas. Torpedo hit. Bow compartment. Buoyancy 100%. And now at 10 kilometer range. I really need to start slowing down. But you don't slow down a ship this, this heavy very quickly. So my chance of getting torped again is very, very high. I mean, so be it. Um, and the chance for them to pen 
at nine and a half kilometers is going up as well. They can pen 33 inches of armor. That's if you're firing at a flat broadside. If you're firing at my ship as it is right now, I think it's not going to be that threatening. Where's my light? Still pretty far. Could come. Your range was what? 15? Was it? 15. That does put you in range of that battleship with your torpedoes. Attempt to launch. Mosu just continues to lumber into range. Even though that's really not where I want her to be. Hold on, is Texas trying to fall behind? Yeah, Texas is trying to change her formation and fall in behind Nebraska. But by making a full turn, she was exposing her port side, and now she's exposing her starboard side. Destroyed main guns. That looks like your C turret. No, your X turret out for the fight. Good, that's one 16-inch turret less to worry about. Chance to pen should be about 100%. No, 68 actually. Range of the Charleston. Only 4 kilometers and actually 47, so less than 5. You can bet that she's reloading her torpedoes right about now. Try to hit the heavy cruiser. Because I really know you need one to two good hits on this heavy, and she'll go down. Preferably before dropping more fish. The 8 inch guns are now, oh sorry, the 6 inch are now starting to ramp up as well. Range 3.8. I can pen 9.7 inches of belt armor at that range. And the Charleston is flooding quickly. There's the torpedo launch. Check, torpedo launch. Speaking of. Kitakami, what are you doing? Launch against the Nebraska. Come on, Charleston. Was that really necessary? Yeah, there's no way I'm avoiding that. As much as I would want to. I'm gonna eat, I think, th well, two. That's the fourth torpedo I've eaten, I think. Oh crap, there's another salvo. And the bow is now starting to flood, but I have very good anti-torpedo systems, or anti-flooding systems, so it should only be a, a temporary discomfort. The bigger discomfort is probably going to be the combination of the Texas and the Nebraska. Ketakami, please tell me why you're not torpedoing the Nebraska. You are in range, you are clear to, to send, you're just not doing it. Yeah, there's another torpedo hit. I should learn not to get this close to ships. I mean, I love the brawls, but it's just a bit too risky. Ships flooding, ships gone. Target, Nebraska. Secondary target, Texas. Because I don't know if I can pen that at four and a half clicks. I can do around about 12 inch. But that's not enough. Texas, you're not supposed to be torpedoing me, uh, dude. What's that about? 22-inch torpedo. I can see the torpedo in the water, but again, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to avoid that. I told her to reduce speed quite a while ago, but she's just not doing it. Nebraska is being hit severely. All the 17-inch from the Musu are firing at her. She's just getting wrecked. Flooding. All engines damaged. Rudder is damaged. She is returning the favor, though. And at 4.1 kilometer range, I think she can really hurt. There we go. Flooding. I got hit by the torpedo from the Texas. That's another flooding. Flooding. 
fire, two fires, two floodings. And then again, the battle or damage control parties on the Nebraska are very potent. Oh, finally, the light cruiser has decided to join the party. And she launched torpedoes against the Nebraska. Better late than never, I guess. For some reason, though, she's not shooting. Oh, there she is, finally. Alright, I gotta get the Nebraska off my port side. It's too dangerous, and she's launching torpedoes, which again, I cannot avoid. More damage to the main guns, but no destroyed main guns. Come on. Blow that ship to bits. Not quite gonna work, is it? Oh! Hold on a minute. I didn't hit you. You got a flash fire. Yeah. That was it. At 47.29, I hit the battleship and uh, penetrated on the main gun. At 48.37, so about a minute later, the main gun actually gets destroyed. The ship is on fire. Well, almost the entire ship. And the turret gets launched off the ship. There. And we can... Yeah, this splash is probably from the turret. That is one damaged battleship. And Nebraska, are you going to burn up or do I need to help you along? I think I might need to fire one more. Destroyed another main gun? Jesus, look at that! She just tanked all that damage. And I destroyed another turret. She's still shooting, though. Impressive. Not accurately. Or at least, very unluckily, all of those shots actually missed. Even though she had an accuracy of almost 50%. Come on. Nebraska's launching a torpedo again. Texas is still being chipped at slowly by the 6-inch guns, which have <laughs> really not done that much damage. Come on, can we sink the Nebraska? Thank you. Next target, Texas. Hard to starboard. Texas has already been beaten up. But she's not gone, and that torpedo is still closing, and I'm going to get hit by it. But the Texas has no chance of winning this fight. Maybe in this fight, unless she goes for the ram. There's another torpedo. There you go. Or could I? Nope. Two engines are damaged on my ship. Another torpedo hit. That was, the, I think, the farewell gift from the Nebraska. But Texas is seriously getting taken apart. And she's still launching torpedoes. Look at all that damage. Fire, flooding, damage to secondary, damage to main guns, casemates. She's down to 19%. I gotta say, these American ships put up a good fight. They put up a really good fight. It's not enough. But they severely damaged the Musu. Chance to hit now upgraded to 100% at a range of 2.7 clicks. The Tex is in, in a bad way. She lost another turret. I think I already knocked out her uh, Y turret, but I also knocked out her B turret. She's refusing to surrender, though. She continues to send out torpedoes. If they keep this up, the Musu is going to be taking on even more water. <laughs> she wasn't too dry to begin with in those lower uh, lower sections of the ship. Structural integrity, 2%. Come on, Texas, give it up. Another torpedo hit on Musu. Structural integrity has dropped to 31%. 329 damage, still no death of the Texas. 2%. Light cruiser still trying to peck away with the 2-inch guns. Sorry, 5-inch. 
She has done 12 damage. 12 points. That's what you get when you try to fire at a battleship with 5-inch guns. It just doesn't work. 2% of structural integrity left on the Texas. That torpedo, though. Ammo detonation, fire and flooding. Did you just lose another turret? I think she... Yep, she only has her Y turret left. A, B, and X have been knocked out. But I think the bigger threat at the moment are the torpedo tubes. Because she continues to use those and continues to harass the Musu with the torpedoes. Effectively. Because that's yet another flooding. Her flooding, however, is also going pretty quick. Buoyancy is currently 15% and dropping. 14%. Another torpedo in the water from Texas. 11%. Maybe I can finish this scenario before that torpedo arrives. Structural integrity is down to 0.2%. How effective were these 6-inch, I wonder? 6-inch guns. Did a total of 584 damage. Versus the 17 inches, 15,000. So sure, they did some work, but not a lot. Musu's crippled. Yes, she is. Very much so. There goes Texas. All right, scenario completed. Unfortunately, at the loss of my own destroyer. Which got hit by that, what was it, 8 inch, either casemate or secondary. Anyway, that's the scenario. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think about it, and uh, I shall see you soon for another video.